just look at all the scuffing and damage on this coin that sold for $72,000. Now someone probably found this coin out there, got it certified and sold it for $72,000. Let's hop right into this video. Here we have a 1969D Lincoln cent coin that sold on eBay. Now the examples of coins we go over in this video are either from the Denver Mint or the San Francisco Mint. Now typically San Francisco produces less coins and they are worth more money. Denver minted coins have a D mint mark below the date. San Francisco have an S mint mark. This coin sold for almost 100 times its face value. This coin sold on eBay for 99 cents. That's the same thing as turning $1 into $99. It's the same percentage of growth. This coin, however, sold for $2,000. Now we'll be very quickly here. They're calling this a 1969D floating roof penny, multiple air, and the coin looks extremely damaged around the rim of the coin. There's only one picture. The seller has zero feedback. This is a huge red flag. Be very careful. This is not an error coin in our opinion whatsoever. Hopefully no one actually bought it, but eBay does say that it's sold online for $2,000. Be very careful out there, guys, whenever buying or selling coins. This is something I wanted to bring up. So this is a roll of bank-wrapped 1969S Lincoln pennies that are selling online. You have to be very careful with this, guys, because there are a lot of people out there that know a ton about coins, much more than the majority of us out there. They do this full-time for a living, and what they do is they'll take advantage of people that don't know as much as them. So this is a great example of someone potentially doing that, where they'll go through a roll of coins, pick out the best ones for themselves or to sell them elsewhere, and then what they'll do is they'll put a really nice looking penny on both sides of the rolls at the start and the end of the roll, and then inside they'll put really not good looking coins, really cheap coins, or no coins at all to scam people. There are scam artists out there, you have to be very careful whenever buying coins online. We recommend staying very far away from any sort of rolls because it is a trap for people that are new to the hobby. Now, if you want to know the value of your coin or paper money, one of the best things to do is to check out the link below for more information on how you can send us in our community pictures of your coins or paper money. But you don't have to do that. Let's go to this next coin that sold for $72,000 and we're going to show you exactly what to look for here because not many people know about this coin, let alone the fact that there are a lot of counterfeits out there. So you got to be very careful. So this is a 1969 S DDO or double die obverse Lincoln cent coin graded by PCGS at a mint state 63 plus red and brown. So really quickly, when I say red and brown, I'm talking about the color of the coin. And now here's a quick diagram. These coins can come either red, red, brown, or brown, depending on the spectrum of what color they actually are. This coin got the red, brown color. And typically red coins will sell for more money than red, brown, and brown coins. But that's not always the case. What you need to know here is that this is a DDO coin or double die obverse. So the die that was being produced from the hub encountered some doubling at Ngawi Trust at the top, Liberty at the left, and the date at the bottom right. This is a mint variety, and there are coins out there like this, even though this coin is incredibly damaged looking, all the scuffing and toning going on there. What you need to know is that there are people and companies in China that produce coins just like this, and they sell them for about 25 cents to a dollar, and what people will do is they'll buy them in large quantities and try to rip people off in the United States. Be very cautious of that, guys. We do not want any of you or your loved ones or friends getting scammed or ripped off. If you learned a single thing in this video, to share it with someone you think would benefit from it, and we'll see you in the next video.